What was it overall tonight for you? Think? I think it was pretty, uh, pretty decent. Uh, we moved the ball on them. Um, you know, we had some time to throw back there, and the receivers made some great catches. So, overall, I think it was a pretty good uh, scrimmage. How close is this team to game shape, game readiness, game whatever? I mean, we've still got, you know, two weeks left before we can decide that. Uh, you know, I think we're on the right track, though, at this point. What happened to the ball? Coach Price, the ball fell out of your hand on the... Uh... Yeah, I was trying to pull it back, and it slipped out of my hand and hit Jadavian, and I guess the refs thought it came out of my hand and went backwards, so that's why I called it a fumble. But, you know, I don't think that was a fumble. How tough is the run against? We have to operate against this defense. You got, you got the um, Clowney on one side. Yeah, our, on our D side. line is going to be pretty, pretty <laughs> tough this year. Uh, yeah. You know, that's going to help the DBs out. It's going to help the linebackers out. You know, and that's going to in turn help the offense out a lot. So you know, we're pretty excited about this year, and we just got to keep, uh, keep trucking. Just even is this like a quarterback scream? I mean, all these receivers you have this year. Uh, it's it's fun. It's fun throwing all these guys. You know, they can. Uh, we got a lot of playmakers on the team, and. You know, something we haven't had, uh, you know, since I've been here, but, you know, we're still practicing. We've got a long way to go, and we just got to keep practicing to get better. Can you tell the difference of, from the O-line of having Elliott here for two straight years as opposed to not having an interchangeable O-line coach? Uh, you know, it's. I think they're a lot more gelled, you know. I mean, that's pretty much a given, you know, with the uh, first time we've had a coach for more than uh, one year. Uh, but, you know, I think the offensive line is going to be just fine. You know, they got a lot stronger this offseason, and, you know, we're going to be a, we're gonna be pretty good up front. Steven, how do you feel like you're in a quarterback competition at this point? Uh, of course. I mean, I've been in the quarterback competition since I've been here, really. Uh, you know, nothing's changed. How do you handicap the way it's going this fall for you and Connor? It is what it is. I mean, I don't, I don't really pay attention to it, really. You know, I'm just coming out here and just uh, going to practice what I can do and try to get better every day. You mentioned at media day your relationship with Miss Spurrier and how important it's been for you. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Do uh, you think she'd still be around if it wasn't for her? I believe so. You know, she was a big part of it, but... Uh, you know, I think I'd still be here just because the teammates were pretty much the most important thing, you know, here. Uh, you know, that and, you know, I told Coach Perry I wanted to play for him and, you know, I wanted to honor that commitment that uh, I had when, in 2007 when I committed here. Steve, what do you think you have to do to uh, solidify your position as the starter? <laughs> just keep playing. Just keep playing and keep practicing as, uh, as good as I can, really. Do you think you get uh, enough credit, maybe it's the wrong word, but you, you get overlooked at all, you know, third, heading into a third-year starter? I don't I'm know. Talking, I'm talking in the SEC. Uh, you hear a lot about Aaron Murray. You hear John Brantley and this and that. I, I, I don't really know. I don't really listen to it at all, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, I'll let everybody else decide on that. I really couldn't care less. Steve, no one passes to guys like Jason Barnes and Alshon. What kind of mental adjustment does it take before the snap when you also have guys like Ace and Demio on the field? Yeah, they, the coach is always saying you got to know your receivers. You know, that a lot of guys, uh, you know, we got bigger guys and we got faster guys. You know, you just got to adjust and, you know, adjust your steps uh, accordingly. So, you know, just. You just got to take a peek and see who's out there. What do you think about Sean Carson? Okay. He's quick. He's very quick. Uh, you know, it's we're going to be pretty good. You know, he'll definitely play a lot this year, I think. And, you know, he's got some good hands, and, you know, he's got to keep uh, focusing on the playbook. Look like Bird gives you guys something you haven't had the last couple of years. That's a, a major deep threat like down the field. Yeah, yeah, he's, you know, world-class speed. You know, yeah. everybody can see that. And, you know, it's going to be a good uh, to have a player like that that can stretch the uh, defense out. You know, we've had guys like that in the past, but, you know, he brings a different kind of speed to the game. Mechanically, what do you want to work on the most this fall? Keep the ball in two hands. You know, that's the main thing that Coach uh, Mangus has been telling me to do, is just keep it in two hands and, you know, don't separate until you're ready to throw. The footwork and stuff that they've preached to you, how much of that is, is second nature? You feel, you feel 100% yeah, confident yeah, in all yeah, that yeah. stuff? Yeah. Steve, think can you overthrow the mirror? Depends on how many steps, <laughs> how many, what the drop step is, but I think I might be able to. What are your expectations for yourself this year? Play in uh, the, at national, or the SEC championship game and, you know, just try to lead this team as uh, as much as I can, you know, on and off the field and, you know, set an example for the younger uh, guys that are here. What do you need to do on the field to get this team to Atlanta? Play a lot better than I did last year. You know, there's uh, we, were wa we watched the game tape, uh, you know, of all the games we played last year. And, you know, there, we left a lot of yardage and a lot of points on the field last year, and you know that's one uh, one thing that we want to focus on this year, just not leaving anything on the field. What do you need to do better? You yeah, to, thanks. To, to make that not happen, just make quicker reads and better throws. Yeah, that's about it. I think tonight was halfway point of the fall camp. I think 15 down, 14 to go. Just, just gauge where you where you yeah, are right you, now. Halfway you, through, you, you lose what day it is during camp. <laughs> honestly, you have no idea what day it is, what time it is. You just got to keep uh, keep trucking through and. You know, that's what the team's been doing, you know, been meeting three times a week and 
practicing. It's just been it's been a long haul, but uh, you know, school starts tomorrow. I'll finally get to sleep in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first class? What time's your first class? Eleven. Eleven. Oh, that's, oh, it's cake. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go to breakfast, and you know, I'm probably gonna come up here and watch the uh, watch the scrimmage with the coaches and see what uh, see what we can do to get better. What day is your archery class then? I actually found out I'm not taking archery class. No, no I'm taking uh, Coach Burrow probably like his, uh, acting class. Acting, oh. acting class and uh, Navy SEAL class. Yeah. Very good. Anything else for you? See, Frank, we do call, talk.